Hello, good evening, ladies and gents, um, and all my friends out there in video land. Um, the lunar eclipse is uh, finishing up, and it's been a marvelous and wonderful experience to be able to sit on my front porch and uh, and hang out with her. Um, and I, I was trying to figure out like exactly I wanted to do something and I took a head ritual bath earlier, a cleansing bath, and now I have decided that at this late hour it's a really good idea to make a candle. Um, and we, I bought those, uh, these, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I showed them in a thrifty haul video um, a while ago as well as like some candle wax stuff and I decided that I'm going to attempt, I'm going to attempt. So you guys get to watch the attempt. Um, we will persevere. Uh, and uh, to make that um, Brigitte oil into a candle, but like layer it maybe with uh, seven, the seven day candle. So, um, and I got that wax too. Maybe you remember that in a previous video uh, that I found also thrifting. Um, so I have, I've watched my own self back um, to get the recipe complete on what I, uh, did to make that Brigitte oil because it's to die. Like, it's so good. Um, my glasses are filthy. Uh, so, I have been, I have concocted a very, um, <laughs> look just like my, uh, video skills. I've concocted a wonderful double boiler candle burner, or wax burner for candles, yeah. Um, we're also making um, soup at the moment too for the restaurant. Uh, it is since it's the blood moon. I decided to make a huge vat of tomato soup. Uh, so we're having it. So I have a giant pot of uh, tomato soup going, and then also um, making candle, burning candle wax. So what I'm going to do now um, is try to move you. And usually where I film from. Um, is not a good place uh, right now because until that burner cools off uh, because I also uh, had been melting the wax there so and then I hang the thing the contraption and then all of a sudden I'm looking at that going hmm. one could really lose their phone into that mess in like a false one false move so I've moved that uh, but the burner is still warm and so give me a couple of uh, seconds and I will get you all hooked up. Hello. Hey everybody. All right, so we're back. And uh, I've got you sort of um, lined up here uh, to see what I'm doing. Um, the first attempt had you hanging on this, uh, the microwave door handle. <laughs> to, uh, and, and it was directly over the molten wax thing. Uh, molten. Not molten, molten. There's no tea. Uh, it had you directly hanging over that, and uh, and and then I realized like that's probably not a good idea because my ability to shoot video was be gone in like no time. So um, and it's still not totally cool, but I I put a little pot there, and so it's fine. So the worst that could happen is the phone falls into a pot. However, uh, that didn't work either. Um, because I have to uh, show you the wax. All right, so do 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 do. Let's take a little field trip. Hello, I'm gonna spin you right around if I can figure it out. What's? Why do I am so f challenged at all this stuff? Hmm. Pause. Okay. All right. So here's our makeshift um, wax melter. This is technically what we call in the kitchen world a double boiler, although in my case, because I didn't want to ruin any of my stuff, I went and found, which, I went and found a, this pot, and then, um, I was trying to find, like, a campfire, um, coffee pot thrifting, and it just didn't work, um, and I feel bad because this pot that I did find is, like, Revere Ware, stainless steel, whatever, it's a, it's a pot that would last you for the rest of your life. Um, so it's now the candle wax burner pot. Uh, I already have some soy wax in there. Never mind the fingers in the frame. Um, I already have the those soy wax things that I found at the thrifting the other day that I showed you all. See, Ooh, that's wax. Um, and it's melted. 
and it's hanging out with a binder clip. Oh, and that can, um, we are making tomato soup, like I said, so that was a can of tomatoes, uh, something or other that went in there, got cleaned up, and now is the makeshift double boiler with the binder clip on the candle wax situation. All right, what we're gonna do, the next thing we're gonna do is set you up good and proper and uh, put in some essential oils into there. If you watch the Brigitte oil, or um, no, yeah, 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 yeah. If you watch the Brigitte oil video, that's what we're gonna follow um, is that recipe. And then I'm gonna layer it for, in a seven day candle holder that I showed you. Uh, and I'm gonna separate the layers uh, with herbs. And who knows how this is gonna work. Let's hope for the best. All right, super friends. So we're gonna make this candle, and I haven't made a candle in years, and, uh, and so I decided that it was probably a really good idea that I document it. Um, I've got the uh, thing probably too high. Um, I got the wax all melted up. I have our candle uh, set up here already. I have taken the wick and, and uh, put it attached it to like a little gizmo that sits on the bottom. You're supposed to glue it down, I guess, but I didn't. I just have it carefully balanced there and then I used a bamboo skewer and wrapped the wick around oh no I did wrap the wick uh, um, dip the wick in some melted wax already so it would be like good and stiff to s make sure that it was balanced in the proper kind of hopefully as close to center as possible I then also marked off some intervals with tape um, so that I on the outside so that I could layer in some herbs and stuff for the to, to mark off sort of the day um, since it's going to be a seven day candle and then um, we over here we have our like protective paper you want to make sure that you don't mess up your landlord's like countertops or anything um, like I could do uh, so we have some protective paper we have our herbs that are going to go in for the layers we have our essential oils that we already put into the oil itself when we made Brigitte oil before um, and we have uh, some of the some small crystals from um, that little funny kit that I got at uh, Michael's with a coupon which I think are is amazing totally totally into it uh, that and all my other crystals are outside right now on the, on the patio or the landing looking looking at mama Mama Luna, as uh, Jennifer just said, Jen, and she just, Mama Squirrel came out and did this like quick impromptu live just a minute ago. Uh, and I, it was fabulous because all of us were looking at, at the moon and all of us were um, looking at it together. So it was pretty, pretty blessed uh, moment, the whole thing. So I didn't know exactly what kind of a, a layering effect I wanted to do. Like I was had been looking up things associated with the moon and whatnot, and and then I also realized that I, I wanted to now utilize this time to move forward um, with uh, my with my I, my Didi, my goddess uh, with Brigitte, and uh, and get to know her more. And so I want to spend the next seven days. Um, <laughs> the next seven days uh, working with her and and inviting her more uh, fully into my life so with that I thought then we'll just translate the oil the Brigitte oil into candle essence form because that stuff's spectacular all right I'll pull up socks okay so now you're just gonna get to like not see face at all and I'm gonna throw in the essential oils into the molten t I did it again. Molten, molten, molten. Um, I'm going to put the essential oil into the molten wax there. We're using a soy wax that I found at a thrift shop um, that was, I know that box sells for $25 and I got it for three or something like that. Um, at my day, it sells at Michael's for 25 bucks because I looked at it and I didn't buy it, which is a good thing. All right, so we're we're gonna do is we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna put the herb, some of the oils in. We're gonna start with rosemary, and um, the rosemary oil in. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, there. I didn't break that little oh, weird seal off. And we're gonna do like, well, you know, four or twelve drops. Um, 
something like that. And then we're going to do uh, jasmine. For some reason that rosemary really wanted to fall out of there tonight. And we're going to put uh, three drops in there. And then we're going to get our uh, rose oil. And on the rose we did three or five. Uh, again, I'm going to, I always say again because I say this every time, because um, I learned it from, from our, our teacher. Uh, that it's just really about getting the essence right for you. Um, that's just like two drops of lavender because you don't want to overdo it. And two drops of sage. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and whatever you're feeling, you know, you have to, you have to feel it um, within yourself. You have to like know when, and it's all part of intuition. It's you're developing your intuition um, while you're making these things and adding it in. I, I record what I put in um, just so that I, because I really would like to make stuff again, hopefully. Or, like in my case tonight, I went back and just watched the video because I didn't record that one and then recorded it. So we have that going. So now I'm going to give it a good, a little bit of a stir in there. And I'm using a bamboo skewer because I gotta, oh, I have it too, it's too low. It's getting kind of stiff. And we're going to see, this is going to be like some ridiculous thing of me, I'm sure. Is this hot? Yeah, no, it's not too hot. All right, so this is my plan. It's my plan here. My plan is that we are going to. All right, that one's that's cool though. The foam's hanging up here. It was going to go straight in the wax. The wax was over here, but now we have to make that shift because this is a jump, and I don't want to get wax everywhere. So my my plan here now. But I want to make sure our wax is strong. Is like what we want it to be because this is going to burn and we're going to use those essential oils and I guess they should be it should be extra smelly, huh? Unless you don't like extra smelly and then you don't have to do that. I'm going to throw in a couple extra drops of rose. For some reason this particular rose oil I really like it a lot. Oh, and it's uh, Woolsey's. Woolsey's. And it's some, some blend of some kind, but because rose oil is very expensive. And um, and I find these, I got that at, uh, at uh, where did that come from? That came from like Home Goods or something. Um, or TJ Maxx, maybe. TJ Maxx hides these like whole, over in the makeup department, they have bottles of essential oils, but they're not fragrance oils per se. They're, uh, they're actually like 100% pure essential oils. Um, and so... I've been buying them from my collection. Uh-oh. We've thrown the whole party off here. What did I just do? I just lost my whole floral touch. Now I'm going to have to... This is what happens when you when you mess up a recipe. You don't need any more of that. But I did have it going good for here for a second, and then all of a sudden I added something I shouldn't have. Uh, when you mess up recipes in the kitchen, you do the same thing, and then you go... All right, we're back. We're getting back. We're getting back. Um, need a little more jasmine. And a little more rose. So that's, but that's not all we're going to do. I just want the wax to be, um, to have the oils infused in it. All right, we're there. We're back. Never mind. Okay, so, and this could be the most hilarious video ever because I've not done this in quite some time and I'm not even ready for it technically. I have uh, some chamomile going, I have some chamomile and um, rosemary and sage um, herb here as well as some basil, dried basil and some dragon's blood uh, resin. And then we're gonna also toss in, I should probably take the caps off these because what could possibly go wrong? Uh, garnet and, um, is it? No. Garnet and a little bit of citrine Yes, yes, yes. And um, a little bit of uh, quartz. And maybe, I don't think amethyst is it anymore because the same properties really are in the citrine. So there you go. That would might be why. And I just learned that the other day. Thanks, Jen. Okay, so 
Ooh, that's delish. Almost. So how have you all been? Everybody. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Now. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So I could just sit here and go and tell you what i just been doing on and on, but then you would make a mess, like the way I made a mess, and then we had to fix it, so it's just probably best that we just roll with it the way, and you can just learn how to uh, adjust for the sensual properties that you want. Um, but I really want this to have a good, good smell. The Brigitte oil, actually the one that I made, the oil, uh, I don't really want to put that in here. Um, I want to leave it as is. It's uh, it's resting on the altar right now. All right, there we go. Leave it alone, Lindy. Stop doing it. All right, here's going to be our maiden spill challenge, and then we're going to put a layer into. I'm going to put the layer into the top of the tape, and then I'm going to put up some um, of these herbs: lavender, sage, rosemary, and chamomile, and drop in some. Uh, oh, and basil. Let's get the cap off that, and some resin. And get some, put some of our resin in there. We're going to be done with the oils for now. Hopefully, we've got enough wax going. I've, I've just eyeballed it. Uh, and then we're going to drop some of this in. So every time, every day that the level, we'll burn down that level, next level, level, and it will just be marked by um, the wax itself will will be solid, won't have herbs in it. And then, the, but the level layer will. Does that make sense? All right. So let's see how this works. Oh boy. Strip off some of this water. It's not really hot. So this is a tomato can. But I am gonna pour a dash in, and try to make sure that that um, before it, that that candle, the wick base is centered as best as possible and that there is not slack in the wick. We don't want that. Groovy. So I start the setup down there. It smells awesome. And we're gonna pour I don't already don't think I have enough wax melted. Which I did. Oh we're right my goodness we're right at that level. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to get another, some more of this wax up and put it in while the, uh, our, while our candle is setting up because it has to set up layer by 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 layer. So I'll put you all on pause for a second or two and, uh, I'll put y'all on pause for a second or two and come back with you when that one is kind of ready for its next go. Okay? Okay, so now we're watching paint dry or wax harden. I forgot about that part that <laughs> these layers each are going to have to set up at least like a bunch, a bunch, a long time, a little bit before um, they're going to get anywhere near me being able to do all these herbal essences to them. So. Um, while we're doing that, I'm going to get out my uh, cool little stone mortar and pestle, and I'm going to grind up for you some sage with some rosemary. I want to just get most, I want to, I don't, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to grind up some sage and rosemary. I do have chamomile flower here and um, lavender and basil, dried basil. Um, but I don't really, I just want these to get a little bit smaller. Uh, I don't think I want the lavender and those chamomile flowers. Maybe some of these chamomile flowers. Give those a good ground. I want to turn this into like mud. I just want to basically make it sprinkle a little, a little bit. Yeah, that, oh, that was a good idea. Wow, handsome. All right, 
And then we'll leave a few of these like that, like that, like that. Okay, cool. And those lavenders are small enough. And I don't want to grind this up anymore. I have ground it. Can't see anything. I always film in this like specialty dim light I've got here in the in the kitchen zone. Um, okay. So while we wait for wax to dry so that we can put in um, all the herbal layers and the, and the uh, dragon's blood as well as the um, gemstones, then I am going to make tomato soup for the restaurant. And we'll come back when it's time. And I almost forgot. Um, and they're sitting right there. Uh, that we have in the oil. We have the heliobore flower um, and we also have that weird white weed that I found um, and I saved the little yellow bits from the middle the um, center, stamen, whatever it's called. Um, I saved it uh, and and knew that it had another use and so that those are going to be also added to our layered mixture which we are nowhere near ready to do I suppose I could sit this in a bath of cool water. It might help um, speed up the process. Maybe we'll do that. Yay, that totally worked. So I've had this, um, had the candle sitting, hanging out for a couple minutes just in like a cool water bath. And, uh, oh no, tape, don't come off. Oh, that's okay. Um, and then and it's set up enough uh, for us to do our next round of treatment. Next round of treatment. Okay. We're gonna put in some herbs and uh, some um, and and herbs as well as some crystals. So I'm gonna show you what that's all about. Ready? Let's do it. All right. So hopefully this will stay put. I just broke an arm off the stem tripod, which is hanging from the microwave door. I'm so pro. Okay. So. We have um, our candle, the first level is in there. Yep. And you watched me um, grind up some, some of this uh, sage and rosemary with a little bit of chamomile. So I'm gonna start to drop that in and around. Cause what's gonna happen is, is it's gonna just make like pressed flowers in there. Uh, uh, once the next level goes in, which we're gonna do also here, shake that around a little bit. Oh, that's good. And then uh, we don't want to go overboard because we got we have we have more layers to do. That is um, some little pinch of lavender and those weeds that I used for the uh, for the sheet oil. That's some of the middle part of those, the yellowy part. Yep. And then this is some dried heliobore flower that we also had in our sheet oil. Ooh, that's a big one. Where's my stick? Come here, stick. You should be not in there, but you're fine. But it'll be fine. Everything's always fine. Okay. And we're going to drop a little bit of uh, dragon's blood. And a little bit of basil. There goes some dragon's blood. A little bit of basil. Basil. So this we're creating, we're making a, uh, we're making a sandwich. So you know this will like help um, with seven day candles. It will help you to, when you reach that next level, then you're gonna wanna move, you're gonna wanna wait till the next day. There goes some garnet for Miss Brigitte. And then I'm going to throw in a little citrine. Just a couple, because we need them. And clear quartz. Did anybody want I mean, watching that eclipse tonight was just imp it's like just super powerful to me. Um, I sat outside on my front steps, the landing, and it was just clear as day. It's been crazy crappy all day long. It has just been like rainy and blustery and windy. Yes, it's Florida, but it's just not, it's not 85 and gorgeous every day. And, um, 
But then right as it was happening, it just like the skies parted. It was fabulous. Wonderful. Okay, so we have our, our next level in there, and it has the dried herbs, as well as uh, the dragon's blood resin, as well as um, our little chips of, uh, chips of, um, whatever these are, crystals. Yeah, that. Yeah. I'm getting tired. Uh, all right, so now we're going to come back here to our uh, candle wax that's burning in our tomato can, melting in our tomato can, and we are going to carefully, I don't want to disturb those too much, so I'm going to try to get them sealed in. It's a good thing I got paper going right now. Well, that's just not working. So what I'm going to want to do now, oops poured too much, too much wax, but that's the way it goes. And that totally didn't work because, oh my gosh, what a silly goose. So the first level has a level of dryness, but then all of this stuff floated to the top. <laughs> so now that we know that that's what that does, then I think that um, once I set these, this level, then I will um, do the same thing I just did again with the herbs and then maybe just pour a teeny tiny little bit in there so that all this stuff doesn't float around in it. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's all learn together, shall we? Hello. Okay, we're back again. Um, the next level has been uh, drying and curing in the uh, our water bath and it looks pretty cool actually um, that's one has uh, the herbs all floating around in it and the next one doesn't and so I'm gonna remove and we're gonna start over so back to our, our thing here uh, if I can get it to stay 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 all right so what we've got going on now is two levels one two level two has um, the herbs floating around in there uh, because and um, because I'm silly and it's like oh yeah sure they'll just stay put um, so the next level now we're what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to pour it in so we're on day we're on the third day and we have a mark We had a mark. One, two, three. And then that goes to four. So we lost one. There must be one floating in the pan. There we go. That'll be that. And so that's going to, I'm going to now cure that uh, in the water bath and continue and continue on. So I'll keep you all posted um, how this is going. This is going to take quite some time. So, um, if I did to do all these levels on videos, it's just not going to happen. So um, I am going to check out and will probably likely come back to you when this thing is all done. Um, and I'm really excited about it actually because to put this much energy into uh, the Brigitte candle for me, for me to put this energy in for me, um, is, is pretty great because then I can actually meditate upon this and uh, and speak to my new um, matron goddess uh, who has quite clearly uh, reached out to me to let me know that she's available to me. So I'm making this candle for her as we also come up on Imolk um, and I might likely, it's just a thought, but I might likely um, burn this uh, seven days before Imolk, like start and then the last day would be on Imolk. I don't know, what do you all think? Yeah? No? Maybe? Uh, so, that was just a thought I had. Um, and then really continue to invite uh, Miss Brigitte into my home and my altar space, my sacred space, and hang out with y'all. So, um, happy blood moon and eclipse to you tonight. And we will check back in tomorrow when this thing has set up a little bit more and we'll add the next level and the next level of herbs and such, herbs and crystals in. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right guys, peace.
love. Blessings. Happy Eclipse. Here it is. Um, took me two days to make this, but it turned out super cool. You can see the levels and layers in there. I'm so excited. My Hershey candle ready for burning. A uh, seven day candle. And I think I'm going to start it on the seven days before Emilk. There you have it.